So Chief, as we enter this season of holiday celebration, I thought it was important that we talk to the Airmen of the Arkansas Air National Guard and wish them a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, because all that will happen and transpire before we see you again for a January drill. Yeah. And this is a time of joy and celebration, family gatherings. In a normal year. Right, in a normal year. But uh, we're not in a normal year. This yeah. is 2020, at least for another couple of weeks. Uh, so, we want to acknowledge that this year's holiday celebrations will be different. be different. And that causes all kinds of things that we've been talking about since the beginning of this year. I mean, there's there's the normal holiday stress of just being around oh, yeah. family members, right? I mean, God, we love them. Or not being around family Or not being around them. So there's that normal stress right. amped up by COVID. Uh, you know, my dad was supposed to come visit me over right. the Thanksgiving holidays from New York. I had to call him up, right. wave him off, tell him not to come down. That didn't cause me stress or my family, but it did him. He was very, sure. very disappointed that he couldn't come down. Uh, but it needs to be a season. We need to recognize the season of a time, the one time of the year that we get to celebrate and try to be joyous. And, right. and it's not always easy. Right. You're right. This has been, just speaking to the Chiefs and speaking to Amron, this has been a rough, rough time to, to try to lead through. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, because of COVID, you kind of feel like, your message is not getting across, or nobody's listening because everybody's concerned about about COVID. So you've got those uh, the the whole unseen adversary thing, and we have to limit contact. And we're probably too close now, but we have to limit contact so we don't spread this thing around. And us as airmen, you know, we're so used to being close to one another. The guard is family, so we're so used to being right next to one another. It's very very difficult, but you know. Probably the best thing we can do is kind of like what we're doing now. Just try to keep those communication lines open and going back and forth and back and forth. And let's just try to manage this thing the best way we can. Yeah, because, I mean, we don't like doing this, right? We want to be out talking to our airmen face-to-face -face and, and interacting with them. And we you learn so much by body language and looking them in the eye and see how they're doing. And just this is the best we can do. We just can't do that right now. I mean, I'm a living witness that we can't do it right now. That's right. So, as you can see, we've tried, attempted to find some new ways to connect with our airmen. Uh, it's not perfect. This is not perfect. No, it's not. Uh, you know, but the, the point is we want our airmen and, and our leaders and frontline supervisors to find new ways to connect right. as best you can. It's not going to be perfect, but just keep trying to find new ways to get that connection yeah. with your airmen. See how they're doing over the holidays. Yeah, this is certainly not the way we want to do it either. You know? I know. Stupid COVID. Yep. Well, we deal with it. I mean, we do things, phone calls. and I mean, it's like the 188 for December drill. They did an entirely virtual drill. The right. 189, they had a split drill, you know, hybrid right. drill, they called it, you know. Great idea. Well, awesome ideas, but uh, it, it's hard. So, so to our airmen, keep reaching out to each other. Mm -hmm. Text, phone, call, FaceTime, you know, all that, everything that you can do. Supervisors do the same thing. Share words of support. Mm -hmm. uh, Reach out if you're struggling, um, oh, yeah. oh, because that's the hardest part. Please reach out if you're struggling. No, please reach out. There yeah. are so many resources available to us, yeah. and those don't go away just because of COVID. Actually, we're seeing more resources flow towards us right. to make sure we get to our airmen. And that's something we got to keep in mind. We've got the chaplain, you know, you've got your supervisors, me and you, you got military one source, you know, you've got those behavioral health, you know, you got, got your chaplain. peers. Chaplain. Oh yeah, absolutely. You got your family. DPH, our you know professional, you know health, mental health folks. Veteran crisis line is there. Military crisis line is there. Just to ask for some help. You know, it's tough emotionally. It's tough physically, and God knows it's tough financially. But uh, there are solutions. Just let's just let's just stay connected with ourselves and stay connected with one another, and. Uh, Make it a priority to eat healthy. God, I need to do that. So, <laughs> and I'm doing better. But uh, exercise, you know, plenty of sleep, just anything that plays into that, to that bettering, bettering an airman, let's just try to do it. It's, it's so important right now. So, you know, things that you can do to take this time, I mean, so you turn the negative into a positive, right? So, so the year of COVID has been a, a real pain. Uh, but there are some potential benefits, and they only become benefits if our airmen take, take advantage of it. Here, here's an example. You talked about exercise and eating healthy, but exercise right. is one. Right. So the Air Force, we have put off 
uh, PT testing, formal PT testing, yes, a couple yes, of different times, yes. and now we're off into the spring. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't expect our airmen to exercise and stay right. fit. That's true. And actually, exercise is one of the best ways to deal with stress. And you don't have to worry that stress of having to take a PT test soon is gone. Right. So go out there and do whatever you need to do to keep yourself fit. It should you got it's like a break. Yep. So you it's a freebie almost. You keep doing your physical fitness stuff, keep eating and, and, and eating healthy and working out. And then when it's time for you to test again, it shouldn't be a big deal. Right. If right. you I just agree. if I you agree. just crunch in right. and, and put your head in the sand, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna then it's tough. gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be tough, no doubt about it. And you know. I got friends, I got people come by my house and say hello and we communicate and we have a good time and we have a cold beverage together or whatever the case might be, you know. So that's just kind of like the way I cope, but what about you, Hane? So you I like do some of that stuff. I like to, to work out, you know, and I do it in my house where no one gets to make fun of me. Um, <laughs> you know, I've got two dogs. I've got a Siberian Husky who's you know, a year old, got lots of energy, taking that dog for a walk. Those things are, are ways that I relax. Laughing like you just did, Chief. Laughing helps me relax while I try Nothing. to do anything. And here's something that uh, Trish, my wife, says has made me much, you know, gotten a stress out of my life. Hallmark Christmas movies. Really? So I've, we've been watching a Hallmark <laughs> Christmas movie Every night for since, awesome. be, since Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, highly recommended, especially if Trish ever gets to see this. So, right. you know. And she's going to see this, <laughs> I'm telling you. She is certainly going to see this. So I want to say this. Uh, just understand that, that, that this is going to be over soon. You know, we're, we're, we're going to get through this. And I want all the airmen throughout the state of Arkansas and throughout the country even to know that this is just a temporary setback. You know, we're going to go through this, keep hope alive, so to speak, you know. Keep pushing, keep pushing, push, 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 push. Do what you're asked to do, and let's just, let's just watch this thing float right on past us because we'll, we'll get through this, you know. And, that, you know. and look, I'm excited. I'm still excited about what we're doing in the Guard. Despite COVID, despite all the unrest that's been going on, I'm still excited. What, what about you? I'm, I, I am excited. I'm also inspired. So part of the thing is find something to, that, that will inspire you. Chief, you inspire me in yeah. so many ways. But in this year of COVID, God. Chief Boston inspires me because you are a COVID survivor. So you got COVID early on, uh, back in the spring, um, and you came through it. You know, it took a little bit of while, but and, and it's still not over. You still have, you know, you still feel sluggish days, you know, which is Can a I, remnant of the disease. Can I say that, by the way? What? By the grace of God, I came through it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. That was tough. That was it, tough. It's what got you through, right? Absolutely. So that's part of what we're talking to our airmen about. Find what grounds you. Find what gives you inspiration and, and use that. So as we get ready to sign off, um, I think that the, the most important thing that Chief and I want to say is Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, absolutely. Happy New Year. Stay Be safe. safe. Be safe. Stay healthy. Absolutely. And we'll see you in the New Year's. Merry Christmas.